And then I'm going to take, this is a NARS 15 uh, short shader, and I'm going to wet it, and because it's mine, I, it's okay for me to use my own spit, because nobody's going to use this but me. Tap off good, and go under the lash line. I like using a short shader on its short line because it lines, but it's um, it's kind of wide, and that's because it's not a, a brow brush; it's a shader. But if you don't use it, um, you know, the wide way, you instead turn it and use it long ways. It acts like a because the brushes are so packed tight. It, the short shaders are very dense and and tightly packed brushes. Um, this is just like my short shader for um, Sigma. Just look how it makes a nice line, but it's a wider line than like if you were to try to use a liner. Or a pencil brush sometimes is just too wide. I like this. And then you also can use that same color, that same dark color over here, and the short shader and use it to line your brow. On the underside first, just get the, the line ready. And then kind of even it up, go up to where that, if, if you went straight up, see where that would go? That's where you want to make it drop. And then backfill. And you've got a nice brow. And see, this is a little too, you want it lighter in the front than, than in this area right here. But you don't want it so light that it looks like you didn't ever blend in that color. So just fill in a little bit. Again, keeping it long ways just kind of backfill that a little bit. There we go, there we go, and there we go. Uh, that little area right there is another place that just never takes color very well. I overdid it right there, <laughs> and it came too far forward. That looks okay. Alright, I've learned to not have to have perfection with my brows. I just... I almost feel like it looks, do you see how it went straight up and that's where it's going to drop now? Um, I, I feel like if it's too perfect, it just looks too drawn on. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it looks drawn on because obviously I have no brows. I'm going to fix that before I fix that. I'm going to fix that before I fix that. Well, maybe it kind of fixed itself. Just trying to get a little smoothness. I don't like the little point right there. I don't really want a point per se. There. Just rounded it off a little. And I feel like that's pretty good. Don't want that too long of a tail. And come forward and fill in that area a little bit. And it's just a... Make sure you fill in between so you don't have these two lines on either side, by the way. See how long it takes to do brows? That's what I hate about them. Like, if you'll notice a lot of people on YouTube, they'll say, okay, I've got my brows. And it's because they had to do that first. It's like, that's just, that's too much. I think I also made my nose too red. <laughs> well, part of that's because I just rubbed it. Hello, hello. Use a foundation brush and just kind of get some of that off the middle. Yeah, I overdid it. I ever did it on everything. I'm just going to kind of blend it all up. I'll tell you one thing that'll help is when I put on my under eye stuffs. And this, of course, is my Rimmel. I love this stuff. Match Perfection in color 230 light. And I know you could use the brush to go back and forth, but I like to put it on both pinky. Oh, in case you're not sure what I'm talking about, that's what it looks like. Again, color 230 light. Yes. Fair. Sorry. Fair. Fair light. And I squish it between my ring fingers till it looks like little angel wings. <laughs> and then I go right into the crux right there and come down. See where I put right where the darkest area is, right there. And then I kind of go back up into the crux. <laughs> what am I trying to say? The socket. And come all the way out past the eye. And then just blend it. And I come down by my nose. And down into this wrinkle, because when you're older, this, this drops. So you want to radiate that up a little bit. And then take a finger that has nothing on it and just kind of blend that edge out. 
and pat over it. And that just two things, it pats it into the pores, but it also takes a little bit off. So it doesn't get so... Okay, one thing I will say about this um, It Cosmetics um, foundation is you don't want to let it get under your eye because it is so full coverage and thick. It's really highlighting. Y'all, it's highlighting my um, wrinkles, so I shouldn't have gone that far up. So there we go. Right down in that one. Under the nose, both sides. Make sure. And you also can put any leftover right there. And there. And then using another finger, just kind of go over that. It kind of takes some of it back off. Same thing with patting it. Pats it down in the pores so it looks more packed. Therefore, you look more poreless. And it also, because this is a clean finger, takes some of it back off. Where's my makeup uh, towel? Now to get it off my fingers. That's the only thing I don't like about using your fingers, but they really are the best to put makeup on. They are, and I need some water. Fiji water, why don't you sponsor me? I'm telling everybody to drink your water. They're not watching me. I'm just a little person. I'm not a million subscriber person, so they probably aren't interested in me at all. Not at all. I only want the big, the big ones. The big subscriber people. I've got all the subscribers I need. I just wanted a thousand. I hope not if you leave. <laughs> if you leave, we'll have to do something. I don't know. Because I want a thousand at all times. Okay, now here's a product that I've really been loving lately, and y'all know how I am about my DHC liner. It's still the best. And my It Cosmetics uh, water liner. But this Tardis um, pencil and liquid on in one stick sure does make it convenient to have in your purse for touch-ups. But also for when you're just getting ready. It's just so easy to have it both in, in one end. And I have to say that the Tardis goes on as smooth and easy as the It Cosmetics. See how it just glides on, not even having to use my other finger to hold it down. And uh, really, I could do it and just, let's just see if I, what happens in, in one swipe. Not bad. I just like to make sure I fill the pores good. To make sure it's nice and black. That's good stuff. Scroll it back down. And it's a scroll up, which y'all know I absolutely require. I will not use a pencil where I have to, you know, go, oh, I didn't blend out my color, y'all. Hold on. I will not use something where I have to go back and, um... Let me just blend that edge before we put a liner over it. Make sure we don't have any lines. Kind of blend it out. Um, if I have to go and carry a um, sharpener, no. Because then you got all the little shavings again all in your purse and everything. No, no, no. Now, what I don't like is that this is a pen liner, so there's not a lot of flexibility. But it, at times, has been a good thing. So I'm kind of liking it, y'all. It's not quite as pliable, so it's not quite as easy to deal with. But, you know, it works. It really does work. And that's all the wing I'm going to do today. We're just going to do a little short wing. Like that. I don't know if y'all can see. And then you just kind of lay it flat. Do you see what I'm doing? Instead of up like this, you lay it like that. Almost like you're laying it down. And do it in little dashes. Connect the dots. Connect the dashes. Instead of trying to drag one long line that you're going to mess up. And because my skin's wrinkled, it it doesn't always get all the way. See, there's one little place. There, got it with the tip end. And then I do come back here and connect this up a little better. A little higher like that and make sure the tip end goes all the way down to the lash so that it definitely has that um that finished look I like it I had a little bit of a boo boo right there but I'm not gonna correct it right now I might even with powder handle it but anyways that's how good that looks y'all what do y'all think Where is my lip product? Lip product, please. Lip product. 
Seriously? Well, I'll use this. I'll use this uh, Maybelline. I did like this, by the way. This is the uh, Superstay Matte Ink, and this color is 15 Lover. And um, this is more purpley, I mean, more pinky, mauve so it's not going to go with this shirt. I hope it doesn't clash. It smells yummy. Love the smell. And uh, I like the coverage. And I like that it stays on pretty darn good. And that's that. A little hard. And even it up. was that? Whatever it was, it went off. Now, this stays on pretty good. It stays pretty moist. It doesn't like get super dry. And once it dries, it doesn't seem to transfer. Once it dries. It's a little too high on that side. Which, if it's too high on one side, you've got to even it up. You look like a caddy wop. You don't want to look caddy wop, do you? I don't either. Yeah, if it's it. Looks about right. Now, if you're wondering what was I doing the, the bottom lip for, I was to take some of the product off so I could 